Welcome to the Stacey A. Cross Show. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. Every Friday at 8 a.m., I'll be coming through. We're talking health, we're talking wealth, and we're talking happiness. I'm a believer of freedom, personal growth, and your journey to success. So go ahead and share, subscribe, listen to this show, because it's going to be an amazing one. As always, you can find me at www.thecomfortkillers.com. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go. Great Friday morning, TGIF. Thank God I am free. Thank God I am me. That's TGIF. Hey guys, I am Stacey A. Cross. There is no E in my name, and I'm coming to you live on another beautiful podcast here. Go ahead. There's a lot of things happening in the background. Eggs are getting cracked as we speak. Why? Because it's hey, it's Friday. It's 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 in the AM, and you gotta have some food, right? You gotta make some breakfast. Not me though. It's been literally how long? A month? Three weeks? About three weeks? Or maybe let's say two, three weeks since I haven't eaten anything in the AM. Like I said, you know what? I'm going to stop eating breakfast because. Who says? Who says we have to eat breakfast? Who says that I have to put eggs and toast to my mouth? No one says, right? So what I did is I, I, you know, if I do want a fruit, water in the morning, really that's it. And I don't really start eating my first meal until in the afternoon, one, two o'clock. And the first couple of days, it was rough. I mean, my, my stomach was like, And, you know, if you listen to that, you would think that you're hungry, but what's really happening is your body is going through an intermittent detox, an intermittent cleansing. So, of course, in the first few moments, first few days, um, it's going to be tough. And that goes with anything. Anything that you start up is going to be tough. It's going to appear that it's tough because it's new to you and you haven't, you know, kind of slid into that comfortable node. Your body doesn't know it yet. You don't know it yet. Your mind is, is your ego. Everything is trying to pull you back into the arms of comfort, right? What you know. So comfort could be equated to what you know or what you think you know, man. So I stopped eating. She's still eating though. She loves her eggs, and that she does. I think you ate the whole thing of it, like the, like I think you ate the whole. What do you call that case? Crate of eggs. Last night I had a very special moment. I went to a talk here in Philadelphia. If you have me on Instagram, I put up a little bit of it, and it was with Wendy Y. Bailey. Wendy Y. Bailey is a coach, and she teaches how to develop a mindset. The I charge for that mindset to master your sales, to get that sales, to get that sales confidence. Sales is, is pretty scary, but all sales is, and here's the definition of sales and selling. Okay. Let's do the definition of selling. All selling is, is a set of skills that you need to develop, practice and master with authenticity and integrity. And I like that because if you don't like say, Hey, maybe you think that sales is just this one formula, this one approach, this one way to close this one, you know, this one language, this one system, this one structure, then you got it wrong. Then you're missing a piece of you. You're it's too robotic. It's too transactional. So what, uh, Wendy Y Bailey speaks about is adding that piece of authenticity to you. But before that, on a precursor tip, you gotta have that confidence and it's that I charge for that confidence. So I have her book here cause I ended up getting it, uh, at this talk and man, I, I just love people that are out there doing it. She's 16 years in the game, 16 years of service. So she's seen a lot. And let's talk about the I charge for that shift strategy. And today I have a talk with her and you're actually going to hear that. I'm going to put it on the podcast because after the talk, I sat her down and I said, Stacey, what the comfort killers want to talk to you. 
And she said, okay, let's do it. So when we talk about I charge for that and how I look at that is, you know, and I love that book title, right? I charge for that because one thing that we do as new entrepreneurs, as new people into coaching, consulting, new fitness trainers, new, whatever, new business owners, new to personal branding, what we do because we're new and because we feel like, Hey, you know what? We don't really have expertise on this. Listen, you're an expert on life, baby. You woke up today, bitch. You're an expert on opening your eyes. Okay. Teach me how to open my eyes. You're an expert on being woke. I remember I opened all my chakras, you know, in meditation, I opened all my chakras activated solar plexus activated chakras, pineal gland booming. Okay, root chakra basing. Okay, throat sacral, all of that. And I was telling somebody the other day, hey, this is how you have to do it. And I realized, shit, I'm the expert on opening chakras because I did it. But also, the more you practice something, the more confident you're going to get. The more you experience something, the more confident you're going to get. All right, if, if, what do you think about this? All right. Let's put it like this. Let's say you raise two kids, okay? Single mom raising two kids, and those two kids grow up to be healthy um and they're contributing to the universe. They contribute to the universe and you're proud of your kids. Do you have the expertise now to write a book on parenting? Do you think you do? Yes? Okay. So you're just a parent, right? Right? So, hey, use your experience. You did a great job at this thing here. If you lost 50 pounds, if you lost 100 pounds, do you think you're an expert at losing 100 pounds? On losing 100 pounds? Could you teach other people how to lose 100 pounds? Yes, you can. So with me and how I turned the whole gambit around is... Hey man, I was addicted. I was addicted to gambling. Okay, I needed a, I needed a something else to put my attention in. Really, the comfort killers was a way for me to get over my gambling addiction by doing something else constantly, routinely, every day. And I put it down, and I did it. Are you an expert, Stacy? Are you an expert in building a business, overcoming addiction? Absolutely. Are you addiction? Are you addiction? It, oh, come on, baby. It's Friday. We could do that on Friday. That's why I moved the podcast from Thursday to Friday, because Friday we could get wild. So let's talk about the I charge for that shift strategy, because I love to give people strategies. And a little later on in this episode, you're going to hear from Wendy Y. Bailey. Now look her up, Wendy Y. Bailey. And Wendy Y. Bailey is a world-class business and sales coach, an international thought leader, and a marketplace influencer called the force of nature and a trendsetter in the coaching industry because of her fearless approach to innovation. She has been coaching organizations, small business owners, coaches, speakers, consultants, and emerging thought leaders for more than 16 years. She is an international best-selling author. This is her second book that I got in my hand right now. She's sought after business coach and engaging sales speaker for her fierce and dynamic dedication to inspiring individuals, groups, and organizations to create extraordinary results. Now I want to get you some results right here up on this podcast today. Okay. So we're going to get out of the zone of being afraid to ask, being afraid to think of ourselves as thought leaders, as experts, as someone with some significant self-worth that could turn around and say, Let me show you how. That's it. Wendy said, that's all it took. For for you to step on the authority side of things, right? All you got to do is say to people, let me show you how. How simple is that? Let me show you how, baby. So here goes the I charge for that shift strategy. Number one, and I'm going to give you three out of the five, and you got to go pick up her book because there's so many nuggets in here. And uh, I'll go through at least a couple of the chapters with you so you can see how much nugget you're going to get. It's a small book. It's a 90-minute read. 
And within that 90 minute, you could really do something as far as shifting your mindset. And I love everything that has to do with mindset. I had to shift mine. And with doing so, I look at the whole world so differently. I look at myself and my relationship to the whole world so differently. I look at what I could contribute to the world so differently. I look at my self-worth, my confidence, my self-respect, my self-love so differently than I ever did before. So mindset is powerful. Here's number one. Turbocharge your mindset with affirmations and intentions daily. Make your affirmations and intentions part of your morning success routine that you meditate on to support you in having an amazing day every single day. In doing so, you're creating incremental shifts about what you believe is true about yourself and your life. This is mind, food, and fuel for your spirit. I agree 100%. On my board right now, my whiteboard, and I'm not lying, okay? I'm looking right at it right now. Number one, take supplements. Two, drink a glass of water. Three, gratitude, love. And four, hit the gym, bitch. Go walk. (laughs) Go do something with your body. Because those four things right there is the ritual. If I could do that, those four things, in the a.m., I feel better about the entire day. I feel good about myself. I've accomplished my ritual, my routine. My power hour, used to call it my power hour. I do this, man. Affirmations, and as you guys know, I have a um, uh, 21 af- actionable affirmations for comfort killers. It's a program, you could get it at thecomfortkillers.com right now. But if you're inside the Comfort Killers Academy, I know you got that with the academy, within the academy. The academy is $97 a month. And if you get the program outside of the academy, you're looking at $200, um, well, really $197. So you can get it. You can, you can figure out which one you want to do. But affirmations are important. And I agree with Wendy Y. Bailey here. It's setting up your morning so that you, have, you prepare yourself for success. You're laying the bed for success. No one could take your mornings away from you. Who really could take your mornings away from you? It's quiet outside. The rest of the world's not up with their crazy antics, okay? You know, you're chilling. You're kind of you're up, but you're not, you know? So your, your mind is more suggestible at that time because you don't, you don't have the notifications already piling in you, the, the stress of the day already coming upon you. So it's really a time to develop that routine, develop that structure. So Wendy Y is definitely correct on here Two, Number two, acknowledge your own value by engaging in conversations, activities, and going places and spaces where you are celebrated, not just tolerated. That's important. Okay. Let me read that again. Acknowledge your own value by engaging in conversations, activities, and going places and spaces where you are celebrated, not just tolerated. Where am I tolerated? I don't know. I don't go there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Somebody just raised their but I don't go there, okay? Rid your life and business of energy trainers, like toxic people and relationships, unhealthy thought patterns or conversations, unresolved emotional matters, and anything else is zapping your ability to choose success. Isn't it very important that your environment around you could drain you and take away your gifts and talents that, that you built up, your, your mindset that you built up. So that's why this is an ongoing working, workability, work through, ongoing life learning thing. Because you're constantly avoiding that, doing this. Okay, here's number three. Surround yourself with people who support and celebrate you like coaches, thought partners, physical mentors, digital mentors, collaborators, and strategic alliance partners. Be willing to invest in yourself by hiring coaches or enrolling in programs where you can meet and collaborate with people who elevate your thinking position and level in life and business. Isn't that correct? Now you go ahead and shout out, yeah, yo. Shout it out. I don't care if this is a podcast. Do it and if you're listening to this in your ear, through some earbuds, you're listening to this on Spotify, you're listening to this on iTunes, you're listening to this on thecomfortkillers.com, you're listening to this on Podbean, you're listening to this on Apple, Android, whatever, 
in your car, walking, at the gym, I want you to say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Louder. Hell yeah. Louder. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. And that's how we set our move right. So, I want to get into this with Wendy Y. And we're going to talk about sales. We're going to talk about value. Value is very important. She spent a lot of time speaking about value last night. And I want to make sure that you get that. The audio, I'm going to do my best to bring the audio up to a level. So I apologize early if it isn't quite where it needs to be. But besides all that, I want you to know that I love you, Comfort Killers. So, you know, I want you to lead me, follow me on Instagram at Stacey A. Cross and at the Comfort Killers. Okay, we're on Instagram at Stacey A. Cross on Twitter at Stacey A. Cross on everything, Facebook, and we have a Facebook group, The Comfort Killers, if you search on Facebook, and of course, we have, what else do we have? We have the Academy, so yeah, go to thecomfortkillers.com and be a part of it. So before this, I do want to say we have a talk coming up on September 8th, and this talk is with Lenny Bazemore. Lenny Bazemore is my mentor. I asked him to mentor me out of the blue in 2014, and he said, yup. And I've been watching, observing, assessing, listening to him, um, you know, taking on the cues. He's been giving me some great nuggets, but he's a real estate investor, developer. Um, the guy is just a, a awesome, all-around, spiritual, humble dude. Uh, uh, very grounded and has his values on point, but we want to talk to you. Why? Because you get to ask him questions. So who's this for? This is for entrepreneurs, business owners. Um, Lenny has two businesses, well, three, well, want to set up like a franchise, but you know, three brick and mortar walk in the door businesses. So it's a whole lot different from your digital marketing, social media person, right? Your consultant. This is a, a in the flesh business. You know, people stray away from these businesses now because they say you could make way more and do less online. But if you set up your businesses the right way and you could ask Lenny yourself on September 8th, because the talk is interactive, I'm going to shut up and you get to ask Lenny Bazemore all the questions you want. Now here's the only drawback. The only drawback is really to keep the quality at peak where I want it to be. I really only want 10 to 15 people in that room with us. It's a virtual call. You can go on video and, or you could, um, you just dial in and, and talk that way. But if you miss this, okay, you might as well just get it now, right? It's $97. It's going to be over two hours, but if you miss this, it's going to jump up and this is not a a way to market you into going now. This is real. It's going to jump up to $200, $297 after the talk. So come in for $97, ask your question, because it's really going to be important for you to get that specific customized answer. See, not a lot of people could do that. What you hear is the general answers, the theory, the theory answers, right? Now, how do you apply it to you? How do you apply it to doing what you're doing? Are you a real estate investor? Are you a real estate agent? Okay. Are you planning on buying up some property? Are you starting a, owning a business? Are you an artist? How do you move from artistry to getting paid for your work? This is all entrepreneurship. It's all mindset. And this talk is happening on September 8th at 3 PM. And I want you there. Just go ahead and email me directly, Stacy at thecomfortkillers.com, and I'll send you the details. Like I said, I really only want 15 people in there to keep the quality up to get all your questions answered. Now, without further ado, here's my girl, Wendy Y. How are you doing today? I'm awesome. Awesome, Stacy. You know what? You just showed me something. I'm here at a, at a, at a mini seminar here in Philadelphia. Um, I was scrolling on Instagram. I landed on your... Your poster, your your Philadelphia talk, and I said, okay, I gotta get in there. First of all, I love what you're talking about. You're talking about mastering the confidence, the I charge for that confidence, this mindset that's able to take you from point A to point D, I think, yeah. when it comes to sales and the philosophy behind sales. That's tell right. me about the, the I charge for that mindset. Uh, first of all, tell us who you are. Okay. And give our audience just a little background, bring us up to speed of where you are now, because I know you have a, a long record there. Awesome. Okay. I'm Wendy Y. Bailey. Everyone calls me Wendy Y. And I'm a 16-year veteran master business and sales coach. And um, my middle name is Resilience. 
I've rebranded, reinvented a lot over the years and over the last two and a half years specifically, I've successfully rebranded as your income acceleration mentor. It's because I'm a beast at helping my clients double and triple and quadruple and quintuple sometimes their income. Yeah. And it's about having a focused plan and the right mindset to actually activate that plan. Because a lot of people don't have the right mindset. They may put the plan together, but you know they falter, they focus on the wrong thing. And what I do is I work with them on the right mindset, the sales confidence, mm -hmm. and then being able to work on the right things, to focus on the right things in their business that increases their income or accelerates it that creates consistent cash flow, that boosts their bottom line profits so that they can create sustainable success in their businesses. Now, um, that's amazing. So the I charge for that mindset, how did you come about? Did you have to develop your own mindset? <laughs> and, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm chuckling because I've been working on this concept for a little more than 12 years. Wow. And years ago back then, I had a partner that I was working with in my business and for whatever reason, we would always be out of sync as to what we were going to set as our fee. Sometimes I would be high, sometimes mm. I would be low. Sometimes he would be high, sometimes he would be low. And it became our inside joke that I charge for this. Like, we need to charge for certain things when we would be out of sync. And the reality, it, it was just obvious. Okay, so when we stopped working together, I continued to really develop the spirit of the I charge for that mindset. Yeah working with my clients because I saw it wasn't that people couldn't sell, they didn't have programs, they didn't have, it was they didn't have the right mindset, mindset yeah. to be able to do the work in their businesses to create sustainable success. Yeah, I know a lot of entrepreneurs, including myself in the very beginning, we become queasy. Um, we, we don't have the authority, we don't have the expertise yet. <laughs> we get scared, yet. We get scared, we're scared you know? And it's like a, just a minute ago, yeah. one of the people who was in attendance here said, oh, you know, I'm rebranding, I'm, re I'm launching yeah. a little bit, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, yes, you do. Yeah, absolutely like you do. Like you've been here 13 years, absolutely yeah. you do. Yeah. So sometimes it's as simple as changing the, the way we speak to ourselves mm. about whatever we have on our plates. Yeah. And when we get to the place where we understand that, it's so empowering. All of a sudden, we can soar in that like fifth dimension kind of level right. and really make some things happen. We vibrate if you're you know, believe in vibrational yeah, beings. Yeah. You vibrate at a different level and people are just naturally drawn to you and your sales go up and your yeah. confidence yeah. comes in sync with That's that true. and it continues to build. It's yeah. just give and take all the way around. That's true. I, I appreciate that um, perspective. In the, in the talk tonight, you spent a lot of time on value. And, and first of all, could you define value for our audience and the way you use it and, and you approach it? Sure. If you are, and I didn't talk about it tonight, but I'll say it for your audience. Yeah. When people don't buy from you, it's typically because of five reasons. They don't have the time. They don't have the need. Mm. They uh, lack the money. Okay. They lack the, they disbelieve in your ability to solve their problem or they disbelieve in you. Wow. So every one of those, and those are straight from Zig Ziglar, you mm -hmm. know, the original sales guy. Mm -hmm. Every one of those, the response to them is value. Let me go to money just for that one. If people are not in their, their survival mode, it's never about the money. It's about financial priority. Right. And you address financial priority by showing people value. Value that they need you. Value that they need you right now. Mm. So time is addressed in that. Value that you have the expertise and skills to solve their problem value that you are the one, the answer to their problem. Right. All five objections, just like that. Go right to value. Value. Now that's value. powerful. And and one thing that you did bring up was the, the one core the one core problem, yeah. the one ideal client. Yeah. Now, you know, one thing you said, hey, it's just focus on the one. You could you could solve a lot of problems, mm -hmm. right? If you're an entrepreneur, we have services, we have products, we have coaching, we, we are it, right? So we could solve a lot of different problems. But what you're saying is have the one ideal client. Mm -hmm. Not one, two, one, not three, one. 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 Why do you think that that's important nowadays when they're like, throw the blanket out and maybe, you know, catch who you catch yeah, no. and then you can focus? Because most of the time, <laughs> entrepreneurs don't have the, the budget to ah, that's pass true. that wide. 
body. Yeah. So you've got to be very focused mm. and very specific. So one ideal client is how you do that. Mm. One ideal client is how you manage that. What I didn't say tonight that I'll say now is what your goal is to do is to attract a C, S-E-A, of one ideal client. Mm. They all look alike. They all sound alike. They're all having the same problem. Problems. And you're speaking to them with your solution that is like the answer to their prayer. So you've got like a sea, like hundreds and thousands of, the of people who look like that. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that movie. Um, what is the movie? I want to say it's um, Toy Story. Okay. The one that has the little minions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I know. It's, it's it's not minions in Toy Story, okay. but they call them something else. The little green creatures yep, yep. that get excited every time Woody comes around. Right. Oh, Woody! You know, and it's just a bunch of them. That's how your ideal clients look when you have a sea of them. Mm. They are like all that. clamoring to work with you. And and with that, they have one core problem, and you're solving one core problem, and you're designing a product, a solution for that one core problem. Exactly. And the reality is, when you know this one ideal client so well, you understand they have multiple core problems, right. and you just create a solution to solve each one. Right. That's called building a niche. Woo! Here we are, Comfort Killers, and we're going to get to the most uncomfortable part of this podcast now, and it is really Wendy Wise's core teaching, and it's the selling. Selling sales, you know, you don't. Your language is different around that. That's one thing that I picked up, and I and I like your example of one way to sell versus just fitting into um, a template of selling. So, first of all, define selling to our audience. Selling is a set of skills that you have to master and develop so that you can um, operate in authenticity and integrity. Selling is not cookie cutter, it's not rigid scripts, it really is about who you are and the focus. Just like real estate, it's location, location, location. Right, right. It's rapport, rapport, rapport That's the in word. selling. It's about building the relationship. And your selling should be an extension of your service to your client. So it's really not selling, technically. Nope. You are, you, you don't have to sell. You don't. Let me say it a different way. You do have to sell, but it has to be in a way that represents who you are. Authenticity. Authenticity. In and your integrity. integrity. And yeah. Remember I said Mark Twain is the one who said integrity is what you do when no one's watching. Right. Right? Right. So when you're selling and you're authentic and you're in integrity, you don't have to memorize anything because it's natural. Yeah. You know, the truth is what you do so that you don't have to remember something. Right. If it's true, you, you don't, don't have, have to, to track remember. it. Right. Right. If it's true, you just do it. It just happens. So, uh, what could people get out of mastering the mindset for sales? So, you think mindset has everything to do with sales, everything to do with moving to the next level in your business. Absolutely. It falls back on mindset. Absolutely. First of all, we have a book. I have a book in my hand. I charge for that. I love that title. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna keep saying that. I love that title, but it's not saying I charge for that. I charge for that. It's really having a mindset about you. Yeah. So, what could we get from this book if we pick it up right now? I know you mentioned one thing that I haven't seen discussed and that's how do you price a service how do you price the range of prices other than that what do we get from this book here you said other than that you yeah. don't want me to talk you know about what that? talk about it yeah. talk about yeah. that because what I was gonna say is the thing that I realized as I was starting to develop this concept is that there were a lot of people out there who were charging uh, yeah, far is, less yes than what they were truly giving in the way of the service that yeah. they were providing so um, I identified three service types, DIY, do it yourself, so, mm -hmm. done with you, mm -hmm. DWY, yeah. or done for you, DFY. Mm -hmm. And there's a range of fees for each of those types of services when you're a service-based business owner. And the reality is when you understand that the time that you're putting into each one, it requires them paying more for right. each service. Right then there's no way you're going to charge, let me just use some round numbers, $17. Oh, yeah. yeah for, 47, $47. Is a good was $47 when you've developed a whole plan and done the work for the client. How the heck does that happen? And, and it's, that's mindset. That's mindset. Limiting beliefs. It's limiting beliefs. And it's understanding that if you're spending more time on something, the fee should be aligned with it. Yeah. 
You know, I never thought about it with the spending on time because I whip through things. Maybe I should spend a little bit more time. But I whip through things. So, you know, I never correlated the range with the time. Of, uh, and it's all done for you in a package. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to read that book and go through that part because I think it's very necessary. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, no one ever explained it <coughs> like that. Right. So, you know, I think that's... Um, one of the fantastic things that I took away from your talk tonight, so I appreciate that and I can't wait to read it in the book. But what other uh, things are we going to learn in mastering the mindset for sales success? This is from the I Charge from that I Charge for that book, and it's I Charge for that dot com, correct? Yes, okay. I Charge for that dot com. Yep. The thing that, <clears throat> excuse me, all of a sudden I got a tickle in my throat. It's all right. The thing, there's a lot in the book. It's a little book, but it's charged with that's, a lot of content. That's how we do it, yep. That's how we do it. There is a way of thinking about practical application and examining your perspective about it. So one of the things I wanted to make sure I put in the book were questions that you can ask yourself yeah. to challenge your mindset in particular areas. Yeah. It's not just about... Theory, theory, doing everything. Yeah, right? it's not theory. It's here's some real meat that you can start questioning your thoughts about something. Yeah, I've also got like a proclamation in there that you can start to Beautiful. study and believe. There's a way to turbocharge with affirmations. There's a lot in the book designed to help you develop that right mindset. Right, and if someone wants more. Uh, you know, coaching with you to help them go through that block that they may have in sales. Because I'm telling you, honestly, we all go through it. Sure. And um, it is a, the obstacle that's the final step before you really hit that breakthrough. So if we have people that are interested in taking the next step for you, where do they go? How do they get in touch with you? And uh, I know they're going to purchase this book, and the link is going to be in the show notes, guys. But what if they want to take it an extra step with you? What do we have to do? Well, there are a couple of things. Yeah. Um, I could go to, down a whole list, yeah. but I'll just make it simple. If you go to my main website, which is businessbeyondlimits.com, okay. there's a link to Coach with Wendy Y and a pink button that says Invest in Coaching. I'm always available to talk to people in that 60-minute strategy session. I talked with someone the other day, and we were on the phone for 20 minutes, and she was like, how long have we been on the phone? And I said, about 20 minutes. And she said, wow, I feel like I have a new lease on what to do in my wow. business. Yeah. Because of my experience, I'm able to cut through a lot of... The fat. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And Go get right to what's to going mm -hmm. on. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I give a lot of examples of client success stories. The names have been changed to protect the innocent in the book. <laughs> and... Uh, some people won't get that. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. So that's the best way because I really am good at that laser focus yeah. when it comes to helping my clients. Yep. Sixteen years in the business, you said at this point you are unemployable, unrecruitable, yes. yes. and you're thriving here. This is yes. what you're meant to do. Your purpose is serving people and helping people, and I've, I've felt that tonight. So I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come and film and document and, and get a chance and an opportunity to speak to you, learn more about what you're doing. I think. I think it's golden Thank and you. much success to you. Thank I you. Appreciate and I it. appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Reaching out to me on Instagram. Yeah. And telling me that what you do, because I was really excited when you said it. So yeah. thank you for that. I Absolutely. appreciate this opportunity. Absolutely. Comfort Killers, everything that you need is in the show notes. Again, I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Until next time. You've just listened to a episode of the Stacey A. Cross Show. You can subscribe and get more episodes on my website, StaceyAcross.com, and my company's website, TheComfortKillers.com. As always, you can get me on all my social media at Stacey A. Cross. Go ahead and subscribe, and we will see you next week. I am. <laughs>